how do you clothe a piece of contemporary architecture that's next to the beach? And how can we reject the notion that it needs to be precious or costly in order to be beautiful? So um, these are actually a cementitious plaster sample. Um, we ultimately landed on this one. It's kind of a denser pattern. And what I loved about this is from a distance, you don't even notice it. So did you have to create your own tool? We literally created different, um, different, I don't know if you'd call this a saw. And we actually had to embed, if you look carefully, we had to embed a stainless steel rail in order to lock in the tool so right. that the lines weren't wiggly. Watch them, right? They're passing it up the scaffolding and it's kind of perfectly aligning with the seam above. I mean, yeah, it reminds me of corduroy trou trousers that yes. you know we'd, we'd wear in the kind of 70s or 80s in England. You know, it looks beautiful on a building uh, and just the, the shadow. I loved the, that detail of the door just pocketing in, um, you know, less is more. You know, it's the one thing if I learned anything at design school, you know, less is more. It's, I think that's what I love about architecture is it's, it's influenced by literally hundreds of different forces from function to light to materiality to how it ages to how the client uses it, how it's going to be remodeled later. And it's all of those forces that we have the privilege of trying to balance and juggle and consider. One thing that is incredibly interesting from my side is to understand how you would actually present more of the, the, the mm. finished side. How, how do you get to that last point of the puzzle? Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. That's where our success is truly measured. So what I'll do is I'll show you, uh, I'll show you a recently completed project. I'm noticing um, that curb appeal, in a way, is becoming less important compared right. to the way the home opens up toward the backyard. And even on Zillow, you might actually see a backyard shot be the leading thumbnail for a property. So this home right. was all about compression and release. So here we, we floated, we're literally hanging from above this eight foot cantilever over an outdoor space. Um, and then on the interior, it opens up into this 22 wow. foot high space. And so you Incredible. would never imagine that, you know, as you're, as you're riding your bike down the street, which I know you ride past this house, uh, yeah. I don't know if you, would, if you would know that this yard is there because it's kind of protected. It's a, it's a private home. I've seen it grow from, a, from a, just a building site to the timber studs to this, it, which was a colossal frame. The, the ugly duckling becoming the swan, you know, it, it, it's, it, there's a mass <laughs> to it, but it was, it was really beautiful to kind of see it change over a, you know, over a year. and. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'd be interested to poke my head over the fence soon and have a proper look. Do you mind me asking how many how many projects are you are you managing at a time? We've got thirty eight active projects, um, and believe me, Ben, I, I could not do it without the team. You don't do just just in the area, do you? Because I've seen some unbelievably beautiful mountain uh, mountain retreats. So would you tell us a little about a couple of those, please? Our team has a real commitment to bringing nature into our homes, and there's a way to do that at the beach, but that's very different than doing it um, in a ski town, right, on, on a mountain. So here, we're actually conceiving of a very compact uh, three-story home on, on the high slopes in Tahoe. We're doing another one in Mammoth, um, but the more diversity we have in the, the topography the and the geography, I just feel like it adds interest to the design.